Well, I'm getting ready to leave on my first heavy haul trip, so I did some shopping today. And of course I had to buy some bungee cords. Uh, and I gave up a whole box, if you remember, of uh, brand new unopened uh, bungee cords to that guy from Alberta who took my step deck. I just forgot that I need them, even though I'm not going to tarp. But I still need them to, uh, you know, tie down my oversized load sides and stuff like that. Just uh, not for tarps, but for other stuff that uh, truck truckers often have to deal with. Uh, the most important purchase of the day was probably a pair of these uh, Dakota Tarantula anti-slip safety boots. So based on the feedback I got on my YouTube channel, now I don't have, be, I don't have to be afraid working around the uh, 22,000 pound uh, flow boy because that's what you need to protect your feet from uh, you know getting under. So now I can stand under, if, even if a 22,000 pound low boy will fall here, I should be good. Well, that's what people uh, leave in comments, right? Hey, do not approach the low boy without these on. But, so my past boots uh, served me seven years. Hopefully these will last as long. And I basically choose them by comfort. And you see that these have this cut in the back so they don't rub your your uh, shin in the back when you when you walk and they're very light so i love them this is about uh, 100 how much was this oh 179 so this is not exactly the cheapest there was a there was a pair for 90 dollars <coughs> but i couldn't find my size so i had to buy these ones And the detailing was done on my truck and they had to shampoo everything. There was so much junk in here and they shampooed the seat, you know. Everything looks pretty, pretty good. Well, not as, as good as new, of course, but I bet someone who buys this truck will be happy, you know, because it's a good looking truck. Like normally, over here there's lots of dirt because, you know, you put your uh, arm in here and of course you're always dirty as a trucker, you know. <laughs> we don't take no showers, no time for showers, but... Uh, no, but somehow I find, you know, even though, forget the showers, but there's always dirt in here. I don't know. I guess maybe just the dirt flies through the window. And so these poor guys scrubbed everything. And they, they charged me about, uh, what, uh, $2.99. $2.99 Canadian. You know. Well, there's still some dirt in there, but that one is so deeply, you know, it's seated in there, but no, I'm pretty impressed, you know. This is a 10 year old truck, so what do you expect? You know, it cannot look like a real wood, right? Like, uh, so, so now I'm gonna I'll throw out this mattress because this one is I don't know how old it is, but it's the same one I had when I uh, when I bought the truck in 07, so it, this one is seven years old. And probably the previous owner had it. You know? And I throw out all my videos, all my books. I had a ton of them that I never watched. And we're going to put a seat in here. Right? So that's what it is. I like it. And then what else I did today was... Uh, um, I noticed that uh, my trailer on the Lanster system still shows as SD3. Like each trailer type has an abbreviation, and SD as Sam David three means uh, three axle step deck. And even though I talked to heavy haul, right? Um, and so I, I called them again, and they changed the um, the abbreviation. So now it shows the correct one, which is low three, L O W three, 
which means a 3 axle low boy trail. Same number, only now it says low 3. So I've been talking already to some uh, agents about loads. And one guy, I, I sent an email to a few agents that I used to work with, you know, kind of like introducing my new trailer and attached a picture. And I emailed like five or six guys that I normally work with and gave them, uh, gave them the update and uh, like dimensions of my trailer, what I can do, what I cannot do. And uh, right away, one guy sent me an email saying that, hey, I got something in Halifax, Nova Scotia. <laughs> I am in Ontario, in Hespler or Cambridge, Ontario. This guy is sending me a load. Oh yeah, pays like nine thousand bucks, but you know, just slightly better than a step deck, a very heavy, like sixty-five thousand pounds. Uh, and I said, I look on the map, and it's like eleven hundred sixty-one mile from me. So no way I'm driving all that over there. We're dragging this because you know this is a heavy trailer now. And then there was another load right next close by here but it, it's uh it was 12 9 tall 12 feet 9 inches and that's too tall for me because uh the trail is about two feet tall so the top of the load would be about like 15 feet off the ground and i'm only allowed 14 and you can do whatever you want like they just that's the guidelines they gave you right but they say that if you cause some damage or get into an accident if you hold stuff over your classification then they will basically fire you you know and since i'm looking for my first load i don't want to do that so i called the agent i said i want to stay within 14 feet width and height so okay i'll, I'll try to find something else so i'm gonna now it's like three o'clock almost and i'll check later sometime in the late afternoon there's something that, that shows up on the board but well, if I don't find anything here, I'll just dead head into U.S. somewhere. There's always lots of bunch of loads, uh, you know, from ports like Baltimore or Iowa, Illinois, that kind of thing. So it's all good. Oh, and now I just have to uh, have to assemble my chains. So I got signs, I got flags, just oversized loads, right? I got boots, I got safety vest, I got gloves. Yeah, all I need to do now is I need to assemble the chains because, you know, I've been lazy and I didn't do it. So I need to connect the hooks to the actual chains and that's going to be, uh, that's going to look like a little bit uh, like my favorite uh, childhood uh, game in Russia called Constructor, Constructor or Designer. It was a set of metal parts with bolts and nuts and a screwdriver and a wrench and a five-year-old was given the task of assembling these things without swallowing too many parts and this was my that was my favorite game you know so i'm gonna play that game probably later today or tomorrow so that was a quick update from uh, hespler or cambridge ontario i'm sergey drachev thanks for watching heavy hole tv